Hi, I'm Anna Zobel and I'm a Diamond Beachbody coach and I want to talk specifically to people that work night shift and need to lose weight. Um, I actually have my big jeans on. Um, these are my jeans that I wore that were size 18 jeans and I just wanted to show you that I was able to go from the size 18 jeans um, down to size 4 jeans while working night shift and getting my um, nurse practitioner in an online you know, course and doing all the clinicals and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, and if you're wearing size 18 jeans, by the way, do not be mean to yourself because <laughs> everyone has their process. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> so now these are my size four jeans. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I'm, so yeah. These are my size four jeans that I can fit into now. And I just want to talk to you specifically about how to eat on night shift. Um, lots of people, I mean, I've been there, you know, there's those treats in the break room. You get tired. If you don't take a meal with you, then there's only like vending machines and like fast food is the only thing that's open at night. Um, and I've been there where you're so tired that you, and you get just hungry and you have those crazy shifts where you're just literally running up and down the halls and you cannot have time to stop and eat. Um, so I know how you feel. <laughs> Um, and I know like the feeling of like trying to work out and like, cause I did P90X and I would work out after my 12 hour shift and they do the stretch at the end <laughs> and I would literally wake up two hours later, like laying on the floor <laughs> with <laughs> the video still playing, you know? <laughs> so I've been there, you know, I, I know how that is. So, so for eating on night shifts. The biggest thing, first of all, is to eat. I've seen several people, you guys know those people that are like, oh, I don't eat. And I, I don't even know how they do that. Um, first of all, because I would get totally hangry, you know, or you get like hungry and angry. And <laughs> um, anyway, and so first of all, you do need to eat. Think of your night shift as your day, okay? So you wake up you have a meal for breakfast, and I don't care if it's like a dinner type of meal, that is your breakfast, okay? Um, if you're having your dinner meal with your family before you go to work, that's your breakfast, okay? And then you have a lunch around midnight or whenever your lunch time is, you have a, a small meal before you go home. You actually eat small meals throughout the night and snacks. So I'm a really big believer in eating every two to three hours. And I know some of you are like, it's crazy and I can't get away. Find ways to like, even if you can like <laughs> shove, you know, snacks in your pockets, like your scrub pockets or whatever. Now, of course, don't get them contaminated with MRSA or anything if you work in a hospital. But <laughs> um, definitely make sure that you're eating every couple of hours so that you can keep your metabolism going and you don't go into that starvation mode and you don't get so hungry that you're just gonna like inhale all of the goodies in the break room. So, um, and some of the small snacks you can do, like for instance, you could have some almonds um, and make sure you don't eat too many of them though, but you know, small amount of almonds or nuts. You can have the veggies that are, you know, already ready in a little baggie. Um, anyway, so yeah, and I've done that before where I run into the break room, I'm literally like shoving veggies or like a banana or some sort of fruit in my mouth and like walking out of the break room as I'm still like shoving it in there and chewing. <laughs> so you want to do small meals. Um, you want to have snacks. Uh, and then my biggest tip for eating is to take tons of food with you. Um, and like my friends would joke that I was like, bring in the whole kitchen or, you know, oh, that's your, you know, grocery shopping or whatever. Um, so you need to make sure that you bring tons of veggies that are already ready to eat. Um, and that goes in with your food prep, which I have other videos about food prep. Um, and then you make sure that you have some fruits, you have some healthy proteins, whether you have like grilled chicken already cut up that kind of thing. You have a variety of things. You can get like the Greek yogurts. You can get the, um, you know, some of my other favorite snacks are, um, you know, boiled eggs. Those are 
portable, you know? <laughs> um, anyway, so, so, and then my last biggest tip for you is to not eat before you go to bed in the morning. So <laughs> my biggest temptation, you know, like on certain days at the hospital, they would have like scones in the morning and they were really good with, you know, the honey butter and everything. And I know some of you guys are going to go buy them now, but make sure that you don't eat right before you go to bed. So my strategy was, because what I found was that I was coming home, you'd get home at like eight in the morning and then you walk into your kitchen. And I found that if I started eating, then I wouldn't stop, you know, because you're hungry, you haven't eaten since and who knows when, you know. And so what I, my strategy was, was to eat a healthy snack slash small meal around um, an hour or two before your shift ends um, so that when you walk into your kitchen at home, then you're not starving. You might be a little hungry, but you're not starving. And then I would just immediately go to bed um, as soon as I could when I got home. And then I, so that was my routine. I would wake up in the afternoon. I'd do my workout video then. Um, and then I would, you know, eat something. Right now I drink Shakeology for breakfast. And then... I would go to work and I'd take this huge bag, you know, I'd take these like grocery sacks full of different foods and, um, and snacks and everything. And I I would joke to my coworkers that I had enough food there for three days. And that's because sometimes you don't feel like eating the thing that you prepared. So then I had other things ready so that I could have other snacks, other healthy meals in case I didn't feel like eating the thing that I had for lunch. Um, and then I would eat every two to three hours and then I would make sure I ate something at like four five or six in the morning and then I would come home and go right to bed um, if I could and um, and then sleep a good you know amount of hours and wake up in the afternoon do my workout that kind of routine so I hope this helps you and make sure that you click the link below to um, sign up for a free Team Beachbody membership because I give I do lots of tips like this. We run groups to help you lose weight if you want to lose weight. We have motivation and everything to keep you working out even though you're on night shifts. <laughs> um, and we also help you with your nutrition. We have nutrition plans that you can use on night shift. And... Um, and then also click the link to find me on Facebook and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm putting out more videos every day and every week. And um, so I hope this helps you and I hope you can live a healthy life.